if I've had delays in receiving checks, for example, you know, money that I need to get. With only 15 days left until Christmas, Canada Post is scrambling to get mail delivered on time. As of today, the Crown Corporation cannot guarantee that your Christmas package will arrive in time for the big day. The backlog comes a month after postal workers held rotating strikes across the country. Now there is a backlog of approximately six million packages. You know, we're having employees, um, you know, offering them voluntary overtime uh, to work weekends and additional hours if they want to. We've got 4,000 uh, uh, seasonal employees that we've brought on, uh, about 3,000 additional trucks. Canada Post is no longer guaranteeing an arrival date for packages. They say delays may depend on where you live. The backlog is uneven across the country which means for consumers they could order two things online at the same time. One may come relatively quickly and another may be facing extended, um, extended delays. Postal workers were recently legislated back to work after demanding safer work conditions and gender equality. The union says those strikes did not contribute to the backlog, but management says otherwise. When you've had five weeks of rotating strikes and then and that's built a backlog and then we've continued to see protests and blockades at our facilities by uh, people that don't work for Canada Post but they are sending a message and you know we respect the right to a legal picket uh, but that has slowed down our operations at a very inopportune time. The backlog has only been made worse by the closure of greyhound routes in western Canada. Parcel volume is two to three times higher than usual for this time of year. Today the government announced it has appointed a negotiator in the postal dispute. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.